Hello everybody and welcome to, well, this is the uh, the last part here, and um, so at, at this point right here, um, this is past all doing the little extra stuff there, um, uh, this is, at this point here, I, I pretty much done everything that is possible, um, I got all the master materia things for everybody, I got everybody's ultimate weapon, I got their, um, uh, their, all their limit breaks, um, I have everybody's stats maxed out, I did the, the source, um, farming there, uh, so pretty much, uh, I'm maxed out of everything, and, uh, so at this point right here, um, I am in my very top shape, um, I can pretty much take on anything, and, um, so, um, so, uh, when, uh, so this entire part, it's, uh, you know, I'm beating the game. This will be the final part for the, the um, I guess for the walkthrough portion. Um, I will have some, uh, I will have probably, uh, you know, I'm not really sure how many videos I'm going to have. Uh, but I'm going to have probably at least two bonus videos of um doing the bonus stuff there um stuff like uh showing off me beating ruby and emerald weapon um showing how the the chocobo breeding is done um showing off all the the summons and the limit breaks and um i think that's really it uh, i don't think there's really anything else uh, i mean other than uh, i guess uh, showing where all you know what's in the other materia caves there um so yeah i think uh that will probably probably uh, take a few videos to do because um both uh, the emerald and ruby weapons there i i managed to do them um, on one shot, uh, but it took a, like, the battles are very long because of how much HP they have, so it's like, ugh. You know, so right here, um, uh, I'm actually speeding this up there, um, I actually, uh, I've fought this enemy before, and, um, um, I, I think I fight him one more time here, and I just speed it up, I don't really just cut out the battle there, I just kind of speed it up and whatnot there um from what i've i've experienced um in the past it, you, it's uh the playstation version i should say um i've had it to where it was fixed on what platform um uh, you landed on uh you would fight uh a certain enemy there and as far as the steam version here goes um i guess that's not the case um so it's just kind of they're just they're they're counted as reg uh, as just re regular random battles I guess but they're kind of like predetermined on like who you fight like there's only um I think there's only like two enemies that you can fight in that area so that's kind of why um it's kind of fixed so um so uh right here um this is the uh this is the last um form of Genova and um i this does this attack here uh, that barrett's doing that doesn't uh doesn't finish finish her off uh uh over here she is not really that hard to beat uh she doesn't really have a, a lot of hp um you can i mean right there just one round from everybody um pretty much uh decimated her um, I suppose if you really, really, really want to cheese it, you can just use Knights of the Round one time, and that will kill her, like, in one shot, I think. Um, so, not really too hard. Uh, really, my suggestion is just, um, you know, if you need it, uh, get the big guard up and, um, use your most powerful attacks and use your limit, um, uh, if you're... In in your process of coming down here and you get your limit breaks there, I, w I would suggest saving them so then that way um, you can use it for either her or for the next two battles to come there. So um, that's what I would suggest uh, with that there. Um, so um, kind of explain, I guess, a little bit here. Um, 
I'm not sure if there's any stipulation on it changing, but from what happened with me is, um, I it, it had me choose three um, groups uh, to fight uh, this next battle here. Now, I've had it in the past where when I played before that um, there were times where it was only just just make one group or two groups and that was it. I don't know if it depends on like um like what decisions you make uh, on the way down here or something um I, I really don't know so um i i'm just gonna say uh you know this um it, it's uh, just like it does it anyways is that you'll have three groups i guess they might have changed it in the steam version here to where you always get the three um groups there the only purpose I see with the three groups is just to uh, stay alive longer, I guess, because um, it just whittles down. It just has everybody t have their share of whittling down. Um, uh, well, the the next uh, separate form that uh, uh, that comes is uh, it's called Bizarro Separate, which. Uh, I don't get why he's called that. I mean, he is bizarre, but eh. um, the thing is, is that it uh, when you start out, you'll start with your first group that you have picked out for, and um, at some point, I, I'm not sure if it's when you kill one thing off or something. Um, it will ask if you are worried about the other characters, and if you say yes, it will just kind of switch to your next group there, and then they, they can. Um, I guess you could whittle them down or whatever. I don't know. But anyways, uh, I'm cutting past uh, the prepping here and putting uh, like material and stuff like that. I don't use them. I just uh, like eh. just prep them and and whatnot. So uh, just cutting past all all that uh, noise right there. Um. So, uh. So yeah. So we're we're getting uh, to the the final. Um, I'm gonna say three battles because there's actually one, uh, one battle after these two here that, uh, that you'll see later on. Um, so, uh, so we're gonna get into, uh, the first, uh, the first of the, the Sephiroth battles here. Um, I, I really don't know what to really say about the strategy. I mean, um, he's not exactly that powerful. I mean, he could... Um, take down your HP at times if you're you still have the like a good um, equipment. Um, I mean, I would I would suggest you just have the missile um, armor because it, it's it's pretty handy because it has high in everything. Um, I do know that there is actually another um, armor that is above it that's even better, but the problem is is that it has no slots in it. And I, I I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like uh, Zil. Uh, Zidilch or something like that. I, I'm, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it, it's I would I would probably consider that the best just in terms of like the defense and all that. But uh, in terms of getting materia in it, it's not the best one. I mean, if you want to, have, if you think you have enough slots in your weapon, like if you use your ultimate weapons for everybody, and you only need the eight there, I, I, I can see that. Um, but other than that, it's like whatever. Um, so the gimmick with um, with this battle here is the the little yellow core on him. Um, it's invincible to an extent uh, that I, I uh, something needs to get um, destroyed. I think it's like the the uh, the other parts there, and then then um, then it's able to get destroyed. Um, uh, other than that, I mean, it's not that hard. Um, I I didn't really have any hard time there. I mean, it it's um, uh, like I see here. I use uh, you know Ultima and um, I use um, I use Pandora's box. I think at one point and. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I suppose if you really want to choose this uh, battle here, you could use Knights of the Round if you if you want to. Um, I don't do that. I don't even I don't use it in the in the uh, the next battle um, either. So um, 
The only thing I really did in terms of, like, I guess you can say, like, cheesing the battle is, um, the next, um, uh, I guess, like, the last form of Sephiroth here, um, I only cheese it in the sense of I used the Mime ability, um, to mimic Cloud's Limit Break again, just to, I, I wanted Cloud to have the final attack, um, or the finishing blow to, um, to Sephiroth at the end there, so, um, I, 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 I didn't know how much HP he had left there, so I just kind of mimed, um, Cloud's Limit Break, um, quite a few times there. I think I, I ended up doing it like four or five times there, because I had no idea how much HP he had left. Um, so, it kind of looked like I was just cheese, like I was just abusing it to no end. I mean, it's the one, I mean, it's a way to do it, but, I mean... There are plenty of ways to do it, um, but I don't know. Uh, this attack right here, um, as you can see, it does do quite a bit of damage there. Um, I guess if you don't have really good armor or defense there, uh, that could probably hurt. Um, I would probably suggest having um, your 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 barriers um, handy for that. Uh, I don't. I think there was a countdown for that. I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, this, this battle here, it's not really, it's not hard, really. I mean, if you, like I said, if you have, you know, Knights of the Round or whatever, I, I'm sure you can, you, you'll be more than prepared. Um, um, I, if you have your, your Limit Breaks, uh, I guess use them. Uh, I might actually just maybe actually saving them for... The, the next battle there because um, you're probably going to need it because uh, as much as Sephiroth uh, doesn't quite have as much HP as let's say you know Ruby or Emerald Weapon um, he does have a good deal of HP I think I think he has like um, I want to say he has like 200,000 or something like that and like Ruby and Emerald have like Close to 500,000 or something. I, I don't remember what it is. And, and this right here, this was kind of weird. Like, there was another model in um, the thing there, and he was still there. I don't know what that... Uh, 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 there's actually three of them, I think. I'm um, seeing it here. That was a weird little glitch right there. But, yeah. But as you saw right there, that was... Um, that was it for, um, for that battle there. So now we're getting into the last... Sephiroth battle, and um, I will be having uh, a custom version of the Wing Wing Angel. This is the Advent Children version, which I think is actually the best version of uh, of the One Wing Angel uh, song there. And um, it, uh, it it's a pretty cool song. So now, strategy wise. Um, there are several things that you need to keep in mind here. I would definitely have a ribbon equipped in this. Uh, you know, I, I, actually, overall, your ultimate accessory should be the, the 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 ribbon accessory because it is hands down the best way to defend yourself against status elements, apart from death, of course. I mean, it, you can you can remedy that with your your enemy skills. There, it's real easy to do that. Um. Really, I would suggest uh, getting getting Big Guard up, get uh, uh, regen going. Um, now would actually be the time to actually use your limit breaks if you still have them. Um, I would also suggest having long range materia on some of the characters that don't do long range. Um, that's actually one of the things I have on like Tifa and uh, Tifa in Cloud is I have the long range materia on them because they can't. They can't, like, when, when, um, when Sephiroth, uh, uh, rises a little bit there, like, that counts as, as out of reach, and you can't attack, uh, um, that far there. So that's why you're seeing them kind of, like, doing like what Tifa is doing there. And, um, that's really it. So this right here, this, this, uh, this, uh, attack is really neat. Um, the thing is, is that this attack cannot kill you. It is a demi effect uh, spell, and it will cut your. Um, I, uh, I think it does bring me down quite a lot. Like I think it brings your HP down to like, uh, 
I think it does like <laughs> I guess you want to like count it like it's like 95% of your health and you'll have like just like maybe a thousand left um, and that's with max health there like uh, I think you'll see I'll, I'll only have uh, like a thousand left or something like that and it's really crazy um, and I mean you'll, you'll see this little sequence here it's kind of redundant when he uses it twice though <laughs> The, uh, the music uh, that I have for it, uh, the timing is actually pretty good uh, with this um, with this part of the recording here. It uh, kind of shows the, uh, the devi deviousness of uh, this spell here. So yeah, you see that? That took up a lot. Now the thing with that attack is that it's not a killing blow. Uh, like I said, it's only, um, it's kind of like a demi effect there, where it only takes it only like takes away HP. Um, you know, and like it's like a third or something like that. Now, uh, kind of neat here is that uh, this is where the angel angel whisper comes in handy because. Uh, I think I explained it one time when I was, uh, I, I think I explained it when, um, uh, when I was getting it. Uh, this, uh, enemy skill is super handy. Um, not only does it revive your characters if they are down, it revives them to full HP. And even if they're not down, it revives, it revives that person, um, it like actually cures the person to full health. Like, it's a, it's like a combination of... A, a full HP revive and a full cure thing there. It's really amazing. Um, that's why you see me using it on uh, on everybody uh, singly. And um, so yeah, it's it's pretty handy. Uh, so this is right here. This is I think at this point right here. This is where I. Um, I, I use uh, Cloud's uh, ultimate uh, limit break there, and I actually use his mime. Um, I keep going to Cloud to use the mime ability to mime the limit break, and I, I think I do it like three or four times here. I'm not really sure how many times I do it, but uh, you'll see it. I, I kind of do it over and over again here, and it, it kind of seems like I'm um, kind of cheesing it. And um, so, yeah. Uh, here we go again. The uh, the kind of problem is is that Cloud's uh, ultimate weapon is based on his HP there, so it's not going to be as strong there. I I kind of wish I was able to uh, heal him before he used his uh, his thing there, but unfortunately, um, you know it uh, it still does a decent amount of damage even if you're at you know um, half health or whatever. Um, it's still I'm not to do decent damage there. I mean, I have all my stats uh, maxed out, so it's not going to be a huge issue, really. So, um, I think I'm going to be doing this one in there, and I think that does the last uh, blow there, I think. I think that was the last of it. Um, just looking at the uh, little audio uh, thing there. And there we go. So when you see this, that means you have defeated the last boss there. The uh, the last battle. I, I'm not really counting the last uh, battle there as a battle per se because it's kind of like fixed. Because um, there's like no way you can lose it. Um, um, so other than that, this right here, this is it. This is the end of the game. This is uh, this is what happens when you beat him. And, um, 
And uh, so we're we're gonna see um, gonna see something that happens after everything is done here. Um, um, I mean you'll you'll see here. And uh, I kind of wish I, I actually did show off uh, Tifa's limit break there, but uh, like I said, I'll have a bonus video to show off all the the limit breaks there. So uh, don't don't really fret about all that. <laughs> So this is the uh, the last uh, scenes there. Um, um, I guess uh, when the uh, the CG uh, little cutscene happens here, you'll see some here. I guess I'll I'll, I'll be quiet during the CG cutscene there and uh, kind of chime in uh, when the uh, the so-called battle uh, thing comes up again. And um, so. So right now, um, you know, everything is said and done here, and they're they're like, well, nothing's happening, so they're just gonna leave. Like they're just gonna make their way back to the high wind, and um, so then something happens, which you'll see here in just a minute. So, um, so we'll see something familiar happen here. That right there. And something is wrong, and Cloud can feel it, and uh, he senses that Sephiroth is still here, and that there's something amiss here, and uh, kind of sends. Uh, I, I want to think that this sends his soul to the life stream for uh, a spot here. Um, Uh, just real quick, my theory is that uh, Aerith is sending Cloud to uh, his spirit uh, side uh, to the, uh, the light stream to finally finish off um, Sephiroth's spirit uh, to cleanse it from being mixed in. And um, I, I, that's my theory on what's happening here, but that, it's not really um, supported uh, there, so yeah. But, uh, so I'll be quiet here, just uh, kind of enjoy, well, actually, this, this little CG thing here is not that long. Um, uh, the little ending CG there, I will probably just be quiet on that, just so you guys can watch that in peace, and, um, I'll chime in when the, uh, the credits are rolling. And, uh, so, the way that I see this one, this, this battle right here, um, it's totally fixed. Like, there's no way you can lose. Um, basically, what's happening is uh, Cloud's Limit Break is slowly filling, and you're supposed to use it. If you just sit there and let uh, uh, Sephiroth attack you, you um, he will hit you for, like, very low uh, HP. And Cloud will counter with... Uh, an, he'll, it was like, he'll act like he has a counter attack material on, and he'll just attack him, and then that's it. Like... Like, Sephiroth only has, like, one HP in this battle here, and there's no way you can lose to him. So, um, so, yeah. So, uh, after this battle here, there will be this little CG cutscene right here. And, uh, this right here is, uh, pretty much the ending, um, thing here. So, I'm gonna be quiet, and I will chime in back when, uh, the... The credits are rolling, so um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, my playthrough here. I'll chime in again, like I said, with the uh, credits there. So enjoy the little cutscene here, and I'll see you guys uh, afterwards. So peace out.
Alrighty, so that's uh that's it for this game. Um apart from the uh the bonus videos I'm gonna do, this game is pretty much done. Um Um I I really enjoyed going back to this game there. This uh this game actually has a special place in my heart, you know, it's um I said way back in the beginning um of playing this, you know, this game uh I I I had, uh, I gotten this game, uh, my family got this game for us, uh, when we were growing up, and, um, I watched my oldest brother play it, and, um, you know, I was watching him play it, and then, uh, I was like, hey, let me give this a try, and I, I tried it, and I loved it, and it got me into gaming, um, I mean, I was already, uh, into gaming stuff there, I mean, I, I grew up with, you know, the, Nintendo and the Super Nintendo and all the way up uh, until our current generation right now. Um, uh, I mean, this pretty much got me into gaming, like, I, like solidified it. Like, me gotten into gaming, like, permanently or for the rest of my life. And that's kind of the reason this is actually, like, why I love this game. Because it, it got me into gaming. And, um... Uh, so, like I said, going back to this, you know, it's it's all nostalgic. Um, I'm I'm really happy that uh, Square Enix is doing a remake. I hope they do a good job with it. It seems like they're doing, um, they're they're going in the right direction. I hope. Um, I I I don't know what their what their plans to doing with it. You know, uh, nobody really knows what they're really going to be doing with it. So, um, it's a uh, uh, it's whatever, you know, there's still this, uh, old original game there, if, if the game is shit, you know, the remake is not that great, we still have this, this original one, there's nothing's gonna happen to this one, so, um, uh, I guess, um, you know, it's, it's, I guess it's whatever, you know, um, so, um, right now, I really don't know what I'm gonna be doing for, um, this slot here, um, I have some ideas. I might do maybe another Lego game. I'm not sure. Um, right now, I, currently right now, I had the Tomb Raider videos going. Um, so that is uh, the other slot there. I don't know what I'm going to do for Wednesdays. I I, I really don't know. Uh, the bonus videos uh, that I'm going to do for this game, um, I'm, I'm probably just going to upload them like whenever. I guess, um, I guess I'll get, get them, get them ready, um, I guess I might, um, maybe do, like, a double upload for this, uh, for next week, and, um, and then that way, that, that can just be the final stuff for, um, uh, for this game, so, um, I really don't know, um, uh, I'll do some thinking, and, uh, we'll, we'll see, uh, if you guys, if you have any suggestions, go ahead and, and comment below and tell me uh, what game you want me to play, um, I mean, if it's something I might be into, uh, I might check it out, but, uh, other than that, uh, you know, this is it right here, so, uh, I'm going to skip ahead to, uh, there's actually a little bonus, uh, like, cutscene at the end of the credits here, so, um, uh, I, I'm gonna cut past uh, all, when all the, the the credits are done, and uh, I will chime in when the um, when the credits are about to stop there. So, uh, so we'll BRB. A few moments later. Alrighty, so uh, the uh, credits here are gonna end here in just one minute. Here, uh, I probably did a little little few moments later or something like that. The Duck Corporation, what the hell? <laughs> um, yeah, there's a little scene here, um, I mean, you'll see it here. But, uh, this is pretty much the last of everything. So, this is, uh, 500 years later, and this is, uh, way later. <laughs> They, uh, they redid the scene, uh, in Advent Children, uh, they did it at the beginning of the movie there. If you, if you've seen, uh, Advent Children there, this will look kind of familiar. This is the original, uh, cutscene of it, so, uh, so, I don't know, it's, uh, I guess it's whatever. 
Um, it doesn't really reveal anything. It's just, um... I, I really don't know how Nanakai actually reproduced, because I don't recall there ever being another female, like, lion that uh, he could, like, have a love interest with. I, I don't really don't know. <laughs> Unless those aren't his kids, then maybe it's something else. I don't know. So, uh, as you can see right here, Midgar is, like, completely overgrown. I guess maybe... Uh everything died off or whatever i don't know but um i mean that's the end of the game here um like i said i i hope you guys enjoyed it and um this is this has been a good journey there so um so thanks for watching and uh we'll see you next time so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh please go to my channel and check out my other videos there if you would like and uh also please like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video there so peace out